Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to another ESL podcast. I'm your host, Arsenio, as usual. And today is actually a very, very special one for all of you. So for those of you who have been listening to my podcast, again, I have created or created this podcast back in, oh my God, I believe it was March 27th or 28th of 2018. And I ended up getting my first international uh, student. Probably about early July of 2020 when everything had gotten shut down due to COVID. And then I ended up having just such immense success based on the success stories of so many different people. And I would have to say that like the majority of my market are dentists. But now I am so grateful because I'm breaking into other markets such as uh, soon to be teachers in America, but they were lawyers before and a number of other students who are studying internationally and they are looking to basically do, you know, their master degree in, in different countries, right? And I, what I realized, of course, over the years is that there are a lot of different teachers out there that have different philosophies. And today brought to my attention that there is one specific uh, teacher that, whereas I'm looking at some of the different scores, that some of my students have gotten. And I'm just like, listen, please just do what I do instead of doing what other people do. So this all came about when I got a WhatsApp message from one of these students and I was recommended. And she was a little bit standoffish, coldish, let's just put it that way. But she was like, oh, I actually learned with Noteful. And I'm like, well, that is an entirely different philosophy from what I normally do. I don't know because I do not consume other people's content. This is something that I've learned probably by five years ago when I was doing the whole personal development podcast. And there were so many different people who we brought on to our joint podcast, the Motivational Mentors, where they were like, I don't consume these types of people's content because it's probably going to take away the authenticity of my content. So nonetheless... I'm over here talking to her and she's like, well, I listened to, you know, I listened to Noteful and I know this because this Test Glider, this Magoosh and Noteful actually has a coach, but Test Glider, Magoosh, all these other bullshit ass, you know, websites out there, they're just useless. You know, Test Glider is actually over there saying, oh, you mustn't include an opinion. I have students getting three out of five and they're like, teacher, I'm getting a three out of five. What am I supposed to do? I'm like, listen, stay the course. I know what the fuck I'm talking about. They get a 26 and they're like, oh my God, I'm so excited. Big shout out to Ariana, Bettina and everybody else. But there are some people who do end up copying what other, let's just say tutors out there say. Now, again, considering that there is this guy who actually runs Noteful and he has 9,000 followers on IG. He had followed me at one point, I believe it was last year. I cannot remember. And TST Prep had followed me on LinkedIn and stuff like that. So I do know these different types of individuals and stuff like that. And we all have different philosophies. But what was brought to my attention was, number one, this is why you're here. I would have to say that in 2002, I ended up getting, I had a student named Dormery. She was one of those people who had a dejected look on her face. And this is because, shit, she had to take the TOEFL so many times. I totally understand that. But. I'm like, listen, why are you writing listening and you're integrated first and then you're reading? She's like, oh, well, that's what I learned. And I'm like, well, no. She's like, well, that's what I learned. And I'm like, well, you might want to switch that up. Well, uh, if I don't get a high score, then what? I'm like, well, you got a 21. So do you want a higher score? Yes or no? Oh, well, yes. I said, okay. Well, do your reading and then your listening in regards to the three body paragraphs. Sure enough, she got a 25, and I believe this was in anywhere between July and August of 2022, and then that was the end of her, right? That was absolutely the end of her because she was just so, ugh. Have you guys ever been around people who just bring that low-ass energy, and they have those dejected looks, and I totally understand basically, you know, showing that empathy based on their, you know, their their journey and stuff like that. I totally understand, but at the same time, God Damn it, if you pay for these lessons, bring a newfound energy, please. Nonetheless, I ended up getting a new student. I love Norma. Norma is amazing. Listen, big shout out to all my students this year. From the ones who came in December of last year, even November, to right now. Big shout out to all of you who I am coaching right now. I love 
you all. I cannot be more appreciative of all of you because God damn, about a year ago, man, I had a bunch of motherfuckers. But anyway, so with that being said, I have normal. And normal was so, she's, uh, again, this is why I wanted to break away and give you that little soliloquy is because Norma, just like Leslie and that beautiful energy that Leslie has. And I'm like, man, it feels so good to meet people like me. <laughs> and I realized this because my wife brought me to a wedding. I was like, man, I don't want to go to no goddamn wedding. I went there and I met this other girl who was at our wedding last year in June. And I was like, holy shit. You are witty, you are funny, you are crazy, you are ridiculous like me. It is damn good to meet Arsenio in female form. <laughs> but nonetheless, man, I'm, I'm just, that's why I'm so grateful. So Nora, she was telling me so many different things. She's like, I actually follow no fool. And they were telling me to write only the first sentence of the introduction, followed by the last sentence of paragraph number one, two, and three. And my jaw dropped, and I looked at her, and I said, what the fuck? She's like, yeah. And I said, no, fool, isn't that the mother? Didn't he follow me at some point over the last year? And I looked at his website, and he has a great website in comparison with me. So big shout out to him and his website team, whoever they are. And I looked at three success stories dating back to June 2023, May, and April. And what they had in common was a writing 22, writing 21, writing 21. And I said to myself, what are the odds of having an average of maybe, let's say, 25-ish, 25-ish and a half in reading? Listening, busting motherfucking ass in a good way at 27.8. And then the speaking being at like an average of 28. But then having such a bad writing. It's because some of these gurus, I guess you could say, tell you to do something that you're not supposed to do. And that's why you're here. People, you've heard my podcast so many different times. I've had students get 27 this year. Okay. 26 and 26. 27, Carla Gonzalez. She's going to be taking her test again because she totally fucked up her reading. She got a 92 overall, but she fucked up her reading with the 52. So I was like, God damn it, Carla, you get that shit together. But she got 25, 20, uh, 27, 25, 24 in her, what is it, writing, speaking, and listening. And I was like, Carla, first time taking a test. If you get a goddamn 20, uh, 92, man, that is a pure blessing. And so there were a couple of others. Uh, Bettina, it was her first time taking the test in more than a year. I won't well, probably like since July, that's for sure. And her writing went up by five, but her speaking went by <laughs> went down by three because of self sabotage. And she basically got average scores in her reading and listening. And I'm like, oh, well, that's what I kind of assume. But the next time she takes the test, she's definitely going to succeed. Ana Carolina, I don't know what her writing and her speaking is just yet, but I know that it's going to be massive. But Ariana, she's the one that had high scores of 25 and 24 in both reading and listening. She took the test after my coaching, but she went up to 26 in writing, five-point increase in 23 in speaking. Well, she took the test again after getting a 17 and 18 in reading and listening. She's at 25 and 28. And I said, God damn it, absolutely, you are going to break this 100 for sure. People, the reason why I'm giving this podcast is because you don't know who to follow. You have no idea who to follow. You don't know who the fuck is saying what. You don't know who to believe. That's why Mr. Wakanda is right here. You're listening to him right here. 27, 26, 26. Big shout out to Mafe Diaz, man. Mafe, she has a husband who went from 70 to a 94 just based on 12 classes, group coaching that I did between, I believe, Jan late January up till March of last year. He ended up doing, and we ended up doing all those classes. And again, to, to be honest with you, not the friend, of, oh, no, I love Jesus. What's wife? I love her so dearly, but she has a lot of doubt within her. And it's because she told me, she was like, well, on, you know, on, um, but it's the test glider saying that I shouldn't include your opinion. I said, Mafe, please. No, well, test glider. I said, Mafe. She said, okay, if I get a low, if I get a low score, I'm going to tell you. 
Okay, tell me. She got her highest score ever at a 23, improving by six points. I said, Mafe, remember all those articles and misplaced commas and periods that you had? Well, they ended up benefiting. Now, yes, you ended up doing the reading and listening the same, and I am not surprised whatsoever considering the mindset that you had. Uh, and similarly to Bettina, who ended up taking the test for the first time in a while. But, you know, this is exactly what ends up happening when you have a lot of self-doubt and self-sabotage and you're not able to... You know, you're not able to give your all. Let's just put it that way. And so I was talking to her and everything. And I said, listen, the main reason, again, going over to you guys and I'm making this podcast, whether it's reading, listening first, or making sure you summarize all the motherfucking introduction notes. And please do not just say, oh, uh, three words and just use a whole bunch of template and structure. That is not going to constitute as a high score. Follow me over the next, uh, I guess you could say, uh, probably next four days, five days, and we're going to see exactly if this structure does end up working out. Because I had a student who added so much structure into all of her speaking, and I'm like, listen, you're not saying really much of anything, and I think that's a little bit dangerous because we don't know what the motherfucking Indian AI tech wants. you got to include some of those unique words from the passage. If you're doing speaking question two, and you're talking about a bunch of random shit, that's not going to be good at all. And so we're going to see coming up soon. I still believe that she could get at least a 24, but you just never know, right? So with that being said, people, share this. Share this with everyone else who believes that you, they should write listening before reading and that they should, oh, well, you know, uh, you, you know, uh, TOEFL says just, you know, copy one sentence verbatim. Absolutely not. Are you out of your mind? Do any of those three people, Rima, Yamini, and Mary, okay, we're talking about a nun, uh, I'm guessing someone from uh, 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 India, as it seems, and Yamini, uh, I, I'm guessing Nepal. That's my guess. And Mary, uh, like I told you, a nun, I'm guessing from, uh, she's a nurse, so I'm guessing from the Philippines. Considering all these different people from walks of life getting a 21 to a 22, it's because if you copy one motherfucking sentence from the motherfucking introduction as well as three bottom sentences in each of the paragraphs after the introduction, you're not going to get a high score. And that's why I'm here. So please follow me on the our city of ZSL podcast on Instagram. You're going to get a lot of exclusive content over there. And again, if you guys need this in video form, because again, a lot of you are visual, just like me, go on to my YouTube, Arsenio ZSL podcast, whether it's the Arsenio ZSL podcast on Instagram, because Instagram, of course, um, uh, they, 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 they don't like people challenging their ideas, but at the same time, it's okay to be racist towards uh, just about everyone. Except white folks. And uh, yeah, ended up getting banned. So here I go with a new Instagram. Okay, so make sure you follow me over there. Some great exclusive content in comparison with here. And then, of course, the YouTube if you need the video format. But nonetheless, people, that's why I wanted to make this podcast for all of you. And with that being said, please, people, make sure you follow me. If you have any questions, reach out to me on my Instagram. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Over and out.